joining us, a Democrat is throwing her hat in the ring, running for state governor. She says it's time to uh, bring Nebraskans together, and Channel H's Jael Pembrick joins us now with more on this story. Jael? When Senator Carol Blood was asked why she was running for governor, she said she wants to be the adult in the room. I would be honored to be your next Nebraska governor, and that today I am launching my campaign. Senator Carol Blood of Bellevue is the first Democrat to join the 2022 Nebraska governor race, announcing her run on the steps of the Capitol on Monday. Supporters chanted time for new blood as the senator claimed there was too much division in the unicameral. She told me Nebraskans are ready for true representation. When we come together and we work together in a collaborative fashion, we get so much more done in Nebraska. And a lot of Nebraskans are sick and tired of how divided we've become, not only as a country, but as a state as well. And quite frankly, when we have elected officials that are contributing to that narrative, it's really quite disappointing for those of us that were born and raised in Nebraska. She says what caused her to run is seeing an elected person's conflicting message. The final straw was when a peer of mine did a press release and said that he was going to fight against the liberal woke. And knowing that he confused two different terms in one sentence, and that it was clear that everybody was in this, playing on the same playbook. Blood said there are four pillars to her campaign. Prosperity for all Nebraskans, maintaining public safety and improving public health, investing in Nebraska's infrastructure, and encouraging education. A supporter from Hastings said blood will care for people and that Western Nebraskans will push for her to take office for better representation of Nebraskans as a whole. She will take care of the kids in foster care. She will get all kids equal education. Um, what won't she do? This is just the year. We're going to do it. We out west, past Lincoln and Omaha. We are going to work so hard for her that it's going to happen. Nebraskans will vote for the next governor in November of next year. All right, thank you so much, Jael. And there are already a number of Republican candidates who are running for governor. Yes, they include businessman Charles Herbster and Michael Connolly. Also, there's State Senator Brett Lindstrom and University of Nebraska Regent Jim Pillen. Former Governor Dave Heineman is still deciding whether he'll run again. 